From children's publishing giant HarperCollins comes an array of delightful children's books by famed illustrator Mary Inglebright. Clement Seymour's timeless verse, The Night Before Christmas, has never been more enchanting than in Mary's New York Times children's bestseller. Mary also has introduced Anna Stell, everyone's favorite six-year-old, as the star of her very own picture book series, brimming with lessons for life and free paper dolls, too. And coming soon, Mary's Mother Goose book, sure to be the definitive Mother Goose for decades. Baby Bookie board books, nursery tales, Christmas ABCs. All these and more in Mary Inglebright's incomparable style. Brought to you by HarperCollins, wherever books are sold. Right here, oh, the game. Oh, 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 wonderful, wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Good Times <laughs> Entertainment presents a cartoon living legend. The first comic strip superstar. The character who's delighted audiences for over 80 years. the wonderful the cat and this is my friend Poindexter and now he's back in his new full-length animated adventure Felix the cat saves Christmas we came to help save Santa so that he can deliver presents to kids all over the world join Felix and his best pal Poindexter as he reaches into his bag of tricks to help Santa save Christmas I have decided to give them a present of my own snow Lots of snow. So much snow that they'll have to cancel Christmas. You see, their old nemesis, the professor, and his sidekick, Rockbottom, Excuse me. have placed the world in a deep freeze, covering it with an incredibly thick blanket of snow. The big question is, will Santa be able to fly in these conditions? Now, how can I tell all those kids that Christmas won't be here this year? We have to get to the North Pole to help Santa. Pronto. But help is on the way. Santa will be coming and riding in his sleigh. Filled with lots of goodies he's got to give away. Oh, on the rooftops is reindeer, no way. It's Christmas time of year. Filled with goodwill and with cheer. It's Christmas time of year. Felix the Cat Saves Christmas, the brand new feature length film, now available to a whole new generation of kids. Only from Good Times Entertainment. Because if it is, you're in big trouble. I don't see a dog. You see a dog? Right. Meet the new breed of American heroes. Lizard Tongue, Colby, Merlin, and Benji. We could just get our hands on that dog. I almost had him! Stay. What's this? You stole this dog from me. This dog belongs to that young boy. That dog belongs to me. His dogs are being treated poorly. You gotta do something, Merlin. I'll be back. When the law's on his tail. You gonna arrest him, take him to jail? And the going gets rough. How are you gonna be sure that it's your dog? Show up. He'll follow his heart to become a hero. We've got a leash law, you know. Let's go get him. Stop the car! We should follow this dog. He's telling us something. <laughs> Right, like in the Lassie movies, where the dog was smarter than the people. Exactly. Gentlemen, start your engines. A Joe Camp film. That's it, he's mine. Uh, Rules were made to be housebroken. Uh, 
August 20th. This holiday season, join us as the classic tale of the Nutcracker Prince comes to life. Where did you come from? A magical story of adventure. Fire! Of romance. Oh, dear Nutcracker. Of bravery. Don't worry, Mistress Clara. And a really mean mouse. Come out and meet your fate, Prince of the Dolls! Quickly, the Mouse King's after you! Hey, hey, hey. The Nutcracker Prince. Hey, Nutcracker! The tale of a young prince's battle against evil. The spell will be broken if he slays the Mouse King. And wins the hand of a fair young maiden. And the courage it took to save Clara and the Kingdom of Toys. Featuring the voices of Kiefer Sutherland. Stay. Be my princess. Megan follows. This is like a wonderful dream come true. Phyllis Diller. <laughs> and Peter O'Toole. It's one for all and all for one. I think I'm going to like being a prince. The Nutcracker Prince, the season's classic adventure for all the family. was stirring, not even a mouse. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's not right. I'm awake, and I'm stirring, and I'm hungry. Time for a little late night treat. Santa? Maybe upstairs. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I, in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. <sighs> Good night, dear. Mm, sleep well. Big day tomorrow. Hmm. I'll bet my little friends may have left a cookie crumb or two. Children are 
Santa. Oh, I'm getting so I can't stand the name. Huh, Santa. Always hogging the spotlight. Always everybody's pal. I know you're the credit I deserve. Hmm. Well, this time, it's gonna be different. Let's see how far he gets without me. I'll stop Santa in his tracks. Stop Santa on Christmas? Oh, no! I'll spin up a star field, all glittery and thick. So no sleigh can pierce it, no jolly saint Pink. Starfield, and who knows what'll happen to Santa now? He might be, he might be spun off into space. He can't be. Hmm. If anyone might know something about fairies and fairy spells, it would be the old Mass Augustus. Go, Gregory, quickly behind the furnace. This is. Santa. We were hoping you could help. Santa will be on his way at midnight. We have to make the starfield disappear. And to do that, the spell must be broken. Only another fairy has such power. You must find a fairy circle. Uh, me? <laughs> but where do I find one? I mean, how do I get there? There's a magic fairy circle in a wood. I take you there right now, if I could. It's out in the snow, I can still see the glow. But where it might be, <laughs> I, I don't know. Sorry, son. I've been there, but well, when you get to be my age, you'll understand. Memory is the first thing to go. But... And look, it's deep in the forest. That much I know. It's a long way off, so you better go. You stay with the children. I'll... I'll get back as quickly as I can. Please be careful, dear. Forest is a dangerous place. And just where do you think you're going on this Christmas Eve? Please, Mr. Owl, don't eat me! I've got to find the fairy circle or Santa won't come! What do you mean? A fairy has cast a terrible spell! A star field! Santa will bounce off and be spun into space! Well, well. If what you say is true, I can't eat you or Santa is finished, is that right? Uh-huh. And with no Santa, it really won't be Christmas. 
Yeah. And with no Christmas, who knows what may happen to the world? And the world includes me. <laughs> right. Listen carefully. You must find the Fairy Queen. Only she can break a spell like that. But where? Go toward the North Star. All the way to the Enchanted Wood. That's where you'll find her. Wood? No telling how far away that is. I'll never make it in time. I'll find a way. I'll carry on. Even in the darkness, I know I must be strong. I'll push ahead, I will be brave. Cause girls and boys are waiting, and Santa must be saved. So on I go, into the night. Guided by the North Star, my special Christmas light. There's no one else to go but me. I'll find a way. Oh, what's this? A hero, I suppose, trying to save old Set. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. of me. I never really stood a chance. Me save Santa. How will I ever find my way home? Oh, who are you? I'm Ellie Esther, the fairy of the Silver Mist. And who are you? You must be very resourceful to have found my home. Your home? Oh, oh, I did I didn't know it was your... Or you see, I... I'm lost. Lost from where? Uh, way back there. No telling how far. I was trying to find the Fairy Queen. <gasps> the Fairy Queen? What do you want with her? There's an awful spell. It's a star field that's gonna stop Santa. I'm told only she can break it. But I... Guess I failed. I just... I want to go home. You're not going to quit just like that, are you? No, no, I, I mean, I, I don't know. Look, this is the work of that naughty boy, Impulstick. Unless I miss my guess. 
He must be stopped! It's Christmas Eve, remember? Kids are waiting! So... No more talk about being lonely. Please, nothing more about being so tired. Now's the time to be up and at them. Take it from me, friend! Be inspired! Don't ever, 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 ever give up. character this mouse and now Eliester. Hmm, what to do, what to do. All we have to do now is... Guess I'll have to stop you myself! <laughs> no! Run, Gregory, run! No, I won't leave you! I summon thee at once. Your... Your Majesty. Now then, my mischievous young one, what do you have to say for yourself? Well, you see, I thought... Mmm, but that's just it. You thought only about yourself. You let your pride and selfishness deceive you. The true spirit of Christmas is to think about others for a brief moment in time. All across the world, people join to share their feelings of love and togetherness. It's a time of goodwill toward all, and it's not yours to spoil. Well, I, I really didn't mean to. I, I wasn't actually going to... I'm sorry. Please, please, forgive me. I do forgive you. You've learned a great lesson. And now there is one more. To receive Christmas, you must open your heart. You must believe. I'll open your heart now. Be thou not selfish. Be thou not proud. With the true spirit of Christmas, be forever endowed. Esther, all courage and light, bring your gallant friend forward, and I'll give back the night.
What time is it? And Santa! Oh no! Santa! Oh, get Santa! Santa, watch out! Hold the, uh, the starfield! I have to warn him somehow! When out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Dixon, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. <laughs> to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount up to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sled, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night! Yeah. 